This is the first step used with the reflexology wand. You can get one of these for pretty cheap. They're usually about $10, depending where you live. So what we're gonna do here is go, once again, just similar to what we are doing with the last technique, except we're using this to rub in the area this time. So what you're doing, you can reinforce with your fingertip, a lot of people do that. And you're just rubbing back and forth on the medial arch. And this is applicable to the lumbar vertebrae reflex and the bladder. And you could do this 10 to 15 times. So there is this way with the reinforced fingertip, or you can kind of just go like this. I find it's a little more awkward. It's just a little more comfortable if you use your fingertip to reinforce the stick as you're doing the technique. For this step, you're gonna take the stick, once again, reinforce with your fingertip, and then you're gonna rub on each toe, moving from medial to lateral. And this works the brain, which is crazy, and also your sinuses. So you're just rubbing seven to 10 times from medial to lateral. And go to the next toe, seven to 10 times. And you're going all the way down, all the toes. This kind of feels like an adult version of this little piggy. And you're moving all the way down into the little toe, which is a little bit difficult to get. And once again, moving medial to lateral. And then after that's done, go down this side of the foot and rub 10 to 15 times. You can even do some nice circular motions or you can go just back and forth, whatever you prefer. And then after you've done that, come back up. And this time you're gonna go from lateral to medial. So you're rubbing from lateral to medial, which I find a little more difficult. So you can do it in some nice little circles if that's more comfortable for you. It's more comfortable for me. And once again, seven to 10 times, lateral to medial. In this step, we're going to be looking at the reflexes for the pituitary gland and the cervicals. So with this one, what you're doing is you're kind of separating the toes and then you're taking the wand and you're rubbing up and down each side of the toe. And you're doing that five to 10 times. You can kind of rub segmentally like that, but I prefer to kind of just do this nice little, as smooth as you can kind of motion from one side of the toe to the other. And once again, repeat on all the toes. You can use your hands to kind of as a separator here, or you could even use a toe separator if you have one. You can even do it a little bit slower and just go up one side, stop at the top, go down the other side, rub over the top and go down the other side. And once again, repeat for all of the toes. This technique is for the eyes, the ears and the neck. So what you're gonna do is take the wand and then you're moving from the middle of the big toe and you're rubbing down the uh, toe vertically. And you do that five to 10 times. You can even, as you do it, start in the tissue in a shortened position and then stretch it out. This is really nice because, you know, we never get this specific with a foot massage. And you can definitely use this as a one hour treatment. You could even slow it down and stretch this out and make it a 90 minute foot treatment, which I know sounds absolutely nuts, but it feels fantastic. So after you've done that, you can even go and just rub side to side if you'd like as well. I find that a little more difficult to do with the uh, stick, but a lot of the uh, traditional Thai foot reflexologists will do this as well. This technique is for the Kalathari energy lines, and this is good for the digestive system. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna work from the medial the middle and the lateral. You can use either this side of the wand or this side if you want more of a broad contact. So here, take the foot and then going down the medial side from just under the big toe and you're just rubbing down that line and you're doing that five to 10 times. 
and then through the midline. And I'll show you guys with the other end of the stick here. See how it's a much broader contact. How does that feel, Kate? And once again, this could be also what the client's more comfortable with. So some people might find this a little bit annoying with the more specific um, end. But if you use the more broad end, it's just a little more uh, easy to take and comfortable. And then finish off with the lateral side, just working from underneath the base of the toes into the heel. And this actually can get a little bit <laughs> slippery. So make sure that you're really going down the lateral side of the foot there. For this next technique, what you're going to do is you're going to start at the midline and then you're going to kind of cross over. And this is once again for the Kalathari energy line. So you're starting at the big toe and then you're doing these kind of curved movements into the heel. And then you could do that on both sides. And once again, five to 10 times, pretty much the standard for any of these techniques. And this technique is for the genital glands. So what you can do is kind of cup the heel and then you wanna take the wand and you're just pressing down on this area five to 10 times. This is one that is actually really interesting because as the years have gone on and I've done this on many clients, I find this is the one that clients really feel and as awkward as it may sound, I've had a lot of clients say that they can feel this in their genital glands as I'm doing the treatment. 